about 60.3, 60.28. Uh, 60.28 welcome back to my garage today we're gonna actually machine this make this ready for plating i want to thank you guys for sticking with me for watching for subscribing for supporting me on patreon thank you and i want to thank nordvpn for sponsoring this video like they've sponsored so many of my videos before as you know nordvpn is there to protect you on the internet creating an encrypted tunnel for your data to travel in so nobody can uh, spy on you and steal your data which is more and more important now that ai is on the field and uh, it's easier and easier to like pretend being someone else about pretending to be someone else you can use nordvpn to pretend to be from somewhere else not in a bad way but in a good way because you can uh, say pretend you're from a country where there's movies and games and uh, plane tickets whatever cheaper or just available which are not available at home or where you're staying and vice versa you can access stuff available at home when you're traveling to other places i appreciate the security and i appreciate the convenience of being able to access stuff wherever what I really appreciate is how supportive they are and that they're a company that really sticks, sticks with you. They, uh, they, they've got your back, my back. Like, look at all the inconsistency and uh, all the weirdness that's been going on. And still NordVPN, they're supporting me. Head to nordvpn.com slash two-stroke stuffing for a great deal. And it's risk-free with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Thank you, NordVPN. Thank you. need to put a stop in there so that I don't start cutting into the actual base plate. Switch this out for a digital one so I can set it to absolute zero. see the difference in color here my insert is uh, starting to get dull so I'll do this last the uh, roughing pass and then we'll uh, we'll flip it switch the, the edge we're using and do the finishing uh, I can't really slow the lathe down because of my the belt stuff I talked about earlier the last time I think we should see a little over 59 now, yeah, 59.3 or something like that. So then we can start doing the finishing. We're aiming for 60.3 ish, but I'm gonna do test fittings just to make absolutely sure we don't overshoot because then we're really screwed. It wants to go in there. 
a skim pass. It's cutting a little bit of a taper. So I'm gonna give it just a slight little nudge and do another skim pass and I think we're there. I think we're gonna leave it at this and we'll uh, loosely press this in there and then we know it's like solidly mounted and won't move. I'll center punch the back side so that I get it back in the same position. I'm gonna try. So there's no support under the posts here. So I'm gonna try and see if drilling carefully without anything under there, if that works. Otherwise, we'll have to find something that's perfectly flush or make something perfectly flush under there. I'm not a fan of the... That's almost. Almost. That's better. I think that'll work. A drill bit is... Uh, Like super, I think it's bent, even though it's brand new. It looks better. So the casting is actually sitting, well, this is protruding a little bit here. Well, now I see why we have a problem here. Because with how I designed this, this is, this, these parts are wider than this. So we'll have to use a, a spacer plate. It's not a problem, but it is inconvenient. Actually, a good solution is just four spacers of the exact same thickness. I think around six millimeters would be enough. Yeah, six, even five. I thought, great idea, I'll just use uh, these uh, 608 bearings. They're seven millimeters and they should be super high precision, but so this is reading 6960, 6987, 6980, 6980, 6980. So the reading about 5.0, between 5.012 and 5.0. Oh, 09. So that's that's close enough. Spot drill all the holes, drill and tap, and we're ready to mount it. So 
Seems like that's all we got out of that drill bit. It's hard to say which which holes are which holes. I think it's a good idea to enlarge these holes half a millimeter just to because uh, they're not supposed to be the registering thing and uh, it's so annoying with tight bolt holes. It's another 8.5 versus uh, 8. It should make, make things uh, a bit smoother. I don't think I pressed record. I tightened this down. So I'm gonna check if this runs true. And hopefully it runs fairly true. Well actually that is running 0.01 millimeter. Around 0.0 0 0.005 so that's good enough so good job Alex good job <laughs> so the plan is to take this piece and uh, machine it down so that I, I can clamp it in here and also machine it so that I can clamp where's that the other there and machine it so that I can clamp this inside of it I'm, I'm going to extend this as far as I can and then see if that's enough to reach all the way down in there. And we're going to see what we can do with this. Might be good enough, like this is going to be honed before plating anyways. So as long as we can remove the material and the surface finish as isn't that bad, I think this should be good enough. Let, let's find out before we start making stuff, unnecessary stuff. Okay, so I think it's extended far enough now, 90 millimeters. Might not be enough, but uh, we'll see. This this will give us an indication uh, to <laughs> how how bad this will be, how bad it will vibrate, and um, I think bad. It's not a question of if it's bad; it's a question of how bad. I think. Let's find out. We'll do like fairly a tiny cut. You know what? That's not bad at all. That's actually perfectly good enough. Which means we can do this with this tool, no problem.
cutting sounds Little metal cutting sounds Little cutting sounds Little cutting sounds There's uh, the bed is probably twisted because there's uh, like 0.05 millimeter taper in the bore, even a little more 0.078. That doesn't matter. This is supposed to be honed before plating, honed to the dimension. But uh, we're sitting at 39 point, 39 point, almost 39.5. So I'm gonna take off 0.4 millimeters. And that'll be our uh, finishing cut. And uh, then it'll be ready for, well, some massaging. I need to cut a bevel here and stuff, but then ready for plating. We're sitting at about 39.8 there and uh, 39.72 or 3 here. So that's uh let's call that done. The rest will have to be home, which is necessary because it's tapered. Okay. It's a, it's a good looking cylinder, 